Alright, I want to start this video off by saying I really appreciate all the kind comments and well wishes about uh, my back and it's still getting me down a little bit but after quite a few trips to the chiropractor he's got me a lot better my my L5 was out of place and pressure putting pressure on the disc on either side so if I if I got to moving a little bit um, I was sore and if I got to sitting around I would get stiff and then I couldn't move at all so it's been it's been something else because I'm a really active person and it's it's hard for me not to be able to do what I want to do but anyhow uh, a lot of you guys might know and a lot of you might not know but uh, I ride a motorcycle this right this bike right here is my pretty much my daily driver and unless it's raining when I leave the house or it's too wet to get across my yard here um, I'm on this bike I bought this bike in 2013 December 2013 it had 552 miles on it's a police electric glide and um, I'll try to, to put some links uh, in this video somewhere to where you can go back and check that video out if you hadn't seen it but I did a little slideshow on what I've done with this bike since I got it and um, but anyhow um, it's got 92,250 miles on it now and it's needing a little bit of uh, love um, it needs two tires on it which is no big deal um, but the handlebar switches because I ride all the time it's gotten wet quite a few times and um, my handlebar switches which this is a cop bike so it's got different switches on it than a civilian bike and um, my start button has quit working and my dimmer switch my high low has has quit working um, so my my headlight won't burn and so I've got a set of the um, civilian controls but my wiring harness is different so those won't directly bolt or plug in so I need to get some plugs and stuff to re repin to put on the civilian controls so it'll plug into my harness and I also have, this bike's got the regular um, electric glide standard gauges in it. And it's got like a radio jack here and a blank. Um, on an electric glide or a street glide, it's an oil pressure gauge. Uh, I'll see it. Oil pressure gauge here and an air temp gauge here or the, vice versa. So it's got gauges in all of them. And the street glides have silver face gauges. Well, I just happened to pick up a set of silver face, gauge, silver face gauges out of a street glide that have 17 miles on them. And I was wanting to, I want to switch them out, but I was wanting to wait till it hit 100,017 miles so that I could keep my mileage the same. Well, if I got to go in the fairing, which is I have to, to change these handlebar switches out, I might go ahead and switch them out now. I, I don't know, but I at least got to, do the handlebar switches and the tires. So I've got a 05 Road King that I probably hadn't rode in since last summer. So we're gonna go up there. We we barred the battery out this electric glide and we're gonna go to the building I keep that uh, Road King in and try to get that thing cranked up and get it ready to ride while I'm working on this. So. Y'all hang tight, and we'll try to get that thing. All right, so here we are up here at my building with my Road King in it. Get this thing unlocked, and I hadn't been in this. I hadn't even been in this building in probably six months. So we ain't got no snakes in here. I was riding this bad boy out the building one time and a snake fell out the rafters between me and the door. Uh, it uh, it uh, surprised me. Let's, let's just put it like that. It surprised me. Alright, so we got to get a battery in here and get this thing out of here. So I'll bring you back when I get ready to try to crank it up. 
All right, so this is an old carbureted bike. I'm going to reach down here and pull the choke out. And let's see, it's going to take two hands. Let's see if we can do this. We'll get this thing out in the building here in a second and uh, get it down to the house, let it cool off a minute so I can get it washed up because it is one more dusty motorcycle. Hang on a second, we'll pull it out. We'll, we can get to it a little better. Alright, here she is and she is dusty dusty. I want to get her cleaned up because uh, tomorrow's Jonathan's cruising. Of course, by the time y'all get to see this thing, it'll probably be the day after Jonathan's cruising or something. But uh, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to get it cleaned up so I can ride down to Jonathan's. You need to check that air and tires, the oil, and all that stuff you need to do after one's been sitting for a while. So. We'll get it down to the house and uh, get it washed up. All right. So we're down here by the house. We got the bike on the motorcycle jack just because it makes it easier to clean. And a lot of you guys might not realize that cold weather just, uh, if you think about a gas jug, the way it sucks in in the wintertime and the way it blows out in the summertime, well, the wintertime, will will suck your tires dry air so i just tried to check the rear tire and it don't even register on my gauge so which i thought it felt kind of squirrely coming down the driveway there so we're gonna air the tires up check all the fluids and of course <laughs> get all this pitiful you can see where my knee my knee rubbed the tank coming Coming down the driveway and the cobwebs on the seat, which it was laying up against the side. I don't even, I've got two seats like this and I really don't think this is the seat for that, this bike. I got two just exactly alike, but I don't think this is the one for this bike because it, it's more war than it should. As you can see, all that dust, it's just, it's just pitiful, which I got to let it um, cool down just a little bit because I let it warm up when I come down here and I don't want to um, spray cool water on this thing. And cause myself any issues so we're gonna let it cool down for a minute and i want to hurry up before it gets dark and it's sun is going away now it's i don't know probably getting on eight o'clock so we're gonna um i'm gonna get this thing ready to ride tomorrow so but she fired up just like she's supposed to no problems at all but you can tell i'm gonna look the oil filter's rusty but it's not it's not got a whole bunch of miles on the oil change so we'll uh we'll get her together and get her ready and have her have her ready to roll so Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate all the well wishes. And uh, we'll soon have a video from, from Jonathan W's Cruise in because it's tomorrow and we're going and we'll definitely make videos. So y'all stay tuned. It'll be hitting uh, the YouTubes real soon. But um, this one's going to come first because we're going to upload this one tonight. All right, guys. See ya.
So here she is all washed up. Um, not perfect, but it's getting dark on me. Um, got all the dust off of it anyway. Um, got to wipe down good. And there, I don't know if you guys know or not, but best way to dry a motorcycle off is with a leaf blower. Um, so we, we blew it off. We hand dried what we could get to. And uh, now we're going to run it down the road, blow the rest of the water off, and top her off with some fresh premium. And then tomorrow we're going to Jonathan's to the cruise in. And Tuesday we're going to do an oil change on this bad boy and get her up to snuff. And we're going to ride her until we get the electric glide straightened out. So you guys hang tight. We're going to have a cruise in video for you real soon. Um, and I know y'all look forward to those. So... So we'll have that for you in a couple of days. And y'all know my internet's pretty daggone slow, so it's going to take a minute to upload it. But we'll upload it as soon as we can get it uploaded and have it for you so y'all can check out the cool rides and all the fun we have at Jonathan's. And um, we're going to go blow the water off of this. So y'all hang tight, and we'll see you.